Today I'll be showing you how to make your own four tire inflation system, which is an easy way to air up and air down all four of your tires at the same time. Here's a list of all the products you'll need. 3 8 inch 50 foot air hose, 1 4 female plug, 4 heavy duty brass air chucks. I recommend the lock on clips, 5 3 8 inch brass hose fittings, heavy duty brass ball valve shutoff switch, 1 quarter inch bar stock tee quarter inch all the way around. Pressure gauge, digital or analog, whichever you prefer. Three three-eighth inch three-way T-splitters. And a bazillion hose clamps. Five-eighths, nine-sixteenths, three-quarter, and wire cutters. Don't forget the soapy water and Teflon tape. Next, take your brass hose fittings and uh, wrap them up with Teflon tape. Do this on all five of them. I know before I only showed four, but you need five of these. I learned that after the fact. Next, go ahead and Teflon tape up your pressure gauge, whether this is digital or analog. Just go ahead and put some on there. It doesn't have to be perfect. Go ahead and put your air hose fittings into your air chucks. Do this for these two. Next, we're gonna take our hose fitting and connect it to our bar stock T. Then we're gonna take that and connect it to our shutoff switch. You will wanna wrench on that to make it nice and tight and lined up. Then you want to hook that up to our last hose fitting and then top it off with our pressure gauge. Doing this by hand, you're not going to get it tight enough, so make sure you use the tools to really wrench it down and line them up just the way you'd like. Then you take your last fitting, your hose fitting, and connect it to your quarter inch female plug. Here's an example of me actually using tools to clamp pleats down and tighten them down. I did most of this off camera but it just gives you an example of how it works. So there you go, beautiful. Next, you wanna take your handy dandy measuring tape, along with your wire cutters, clampers, cutters, whatever you wanna call them. And you're gonna to wanna to start measuring your hose. So we're gonna stretch this out to about 12 inches. You can do two feet if you want, but 12 inches works for me. And then you're just gonna roll this out to about 12 inches, grab at 12, bring it down, stretch back out to 12, and do this over and over. My wife is a tailor, so I've seen her do this several times, so I guess you can say she's inspired me to do this this method. Then cut it off here, you're ready to go. Now you're ready to do the next 12 feet. So we take the other end of the hose, stretch it out, and do this for 12 feet, continuing to stretch it all the way out. This is one way to do it, or if you'd like, what you can do is take your other 12 foot that you just cut, stretch it out line it up, make sure it's correct, cut it, so that way both ends are exactly 12 feet. Look at how beautiful that looks. Next, we need two more hoses. They're both gonna be eight feet long. Next, we'll be doing two three-foot hoses. So what we'll be doing is using the first three-foot hose to measure the second three-foot hose, make sure they're lined up correctly, and cut it there. Here are two three-foot hoses, and connecting them to each to a T, on the, on the bottom portion. And what we'll be doing is using soapy water to lubricate this so that it slides in much easier. Don't forget your clamps. I'm gonna be forgetting my clamps several times in this video. So you take this three foot hose and you hook it to the bottom of the T, just like that. And then go ahead and screw that up. Now with these, I don't recommend tightening them 100%, but pretty close. So that way you can twist the hose as you're storing it away. Next, we're gonna go ahead and put some soapy water onto our chuck. We're gonna forget our clamp, like we always do. There we go, good job, past self. Good job, forgetting. Oh good, I messed up. Let's go ahead and line that up properly. Slide it in with the soapy water, goes right in so easy. Okay, then screw that up. And then repeat for the other three foot hose. T on the bottom, chuck on the top. Soapy water on everything, tighten them up. There you go, beautiful. Next, we're gonna be taking our two eight foot hoses and we're gonna be hooking them up to one T. Now those T's are actually gonna be along the same line. So we're basically taking our eight foot hose and turning it into a long 16 foot hose where the middle is met with a T. So don't forget your clamps, put those on and then just slide it in. Notice how easy it is for me to slide in once I put on the soapy water. And then put on the other eight foot hose, 
so the two 8-foot hoses connect together at this T. And then just go ahead and screw that up. Like I said, don't tighten it 100% so that way you can twist the piping as you need to, the hosing. Next, we're going to take our two 3-foot hoses that we've created and we're going to connect them to both sides of the 8-foot hoses we just connected together. So we're going to go ahead and put on some soapy water on there. We're going to make sure to put our clamps on. So that's our first clamp, second clamp, that way we don't forget. We take one 3-foot hose, we hook it up to one end of the 8-foot hose, which is connected to the other 8-foot hose, which is connected by a T. We're going to go ahead and screw that up. And like I said, don't tighten those down all the way so you can twist the hose as you're working on the project. Next, we'll take our last 3-foot hose, connect that to the other end of the 8-foot hose, and let's go ahead and screw that up. Now you're about to see why we don't want to tighten it down completely so that we can twist this right over just like that. Now right, we're going to flip the project over here. Here we go. So we can take this bottom portion and twist it down. Once you're completely done with the project, you can tighten them all down. And there will be a few that you can tighten down completely. Next, we're going to make this take this chaos that we just created and we're going to connect them to the two 12-foot hoses that we made at the very beginning. So we're going to put some soapy water on there, lubricate it, make it nice and easy. So we're going to take one of the 12 feet and we're going to connect it to the three foot T, which is connected to the other eight foot T, if that makes sense. And of course, we're going to remember our clamps. So it slides on just like that. We're going to go ahead and tighten this up. This is one of those you don't want to tighten all the way until you're completely done with the project. Then we're going to take the other 12 foot hose and we're going to hook that up to the other three foot hose and its T, which is connected to the other end of the eight foot hose. This will almost complete the project. We're getting there. We're almost done. And then go ahead and tighten that up, but not completely, of course. From here, you should have about four foot of hose left over. And we're going to use this as well with this contraption that we built. We need our two clamps and our wire cutters. What we're gonna do is take this four foot hose and find approximately the middle. It doesn't have to be exact. It can be approximate, kind of like what I'm doing here. So we're gonna cut this right about the middle, just like this. And once we've done that, we now have two that are about two feet long. What we'll be doing is connecting this to this device. So first, of course, hose clamp, which I almost forgot there. So we'll put on our hose clamp, go ahead and soapy water up these. Make sure, make sure to lubricate it. Makes life a little bit easier for you. Go ahead and take care of both sides while we're on it. Here we go. Because we're going to be putting a hose on both of these right now anyways. So, we just go ahead and slide this on. Just like that. And then we go ahead and take the other hose. Slide it on to the other end as well. We're getting our clamp. Of course. There we go. So, take our clamp, put it on and slide it on just like that and these ones these two you actually can tighten down completely because you see how they're rolled into each other basically this is going to be ideal for storage later on so just go ahead and tighten those down all the way now we need to pay attention we have one side with the valve shut off and another side with the pressure gauge the side with the pressure gauge will be connected to our hose not the side with the switch. So let's go ahead and take this bu big bundle of chaos here. Let's go ahead and find that last T that we have left over, which is this one right here. This is actually the very middle of the hose, just so you know. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be taking this last little bit of hose that we did using the side with the pressure gauge. The side with the pressure gauge will be connected directly to the T. Make sure you use the side with the pressure gauge and not the side with the switch. That'll be backwards. So I did not use any soapy water and you notice how much energy I had to exert to slide it on. It wasn't too much, but it was more difficult than if I had used soap. So there we go. We are almost done with this project. We just have one little bit to do.
Now at the other end of the hose, we need to put on our last adapter so we can actually connect this to a compressor. So without any soap on this one either, we're gonna press that on just like that. There we go. This one we can tighten completely because it doesn't really matter what the orientation is. So just go ahead and wrench that down as hard as you want. There we go, done, beautiful. This is what the final product looks like. A little bit chaotic, but beautiful. Beautiful in every way. So now with this contraption, we have it hooked up to one tire, which then goes off to our second tire, hooked on with these nice quality chucks, which then goes to our T, which connects to our compressor, which then ventures off to our third tire, just like that, clamped on nice and tight. And then last but not least, runs down to our fourth tire. So all four tires are hooked up, ready to go. What's nice about this project is as those four tires are hooked up, they actually start balancing each other out. Once you start filling them up, all four tires are filled up to the exact same pressure, the exact same time. Cuts fill up time and air down time significantly. I absolutely love this project, and I hope this has been uh, instructional for you, and that you can set it up as well. I have a list of all the products in the description below.